Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Supreme Dragon probably brings to you Deck Profile. Don't forget, like and subscribe buttons are down below. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook. Leave a comment down below of what you think of my Dark World deck. So yeah, we're going to start off with three copies of Garafa, the main boss of the deck. Discard it, pop a card. Get a Dark World on field, special summon it from the graveyard. Three copies of Snow. This is your searcher of the deck. Search out any Dark World card. Three copies of Beige. Level 4, special summon. Works very well uh, with the other with another card you'll see in a minute. Three copies of Brow. This card lets you draw an additional card when it's discarded. And two copies of Lucent. The new Dark World level 6 from Primal Origins. I know a lot of people aren't playing this, but I am because it opens up a lot more plays and a lot more ways to get Grapha back to hand and to discard. So it's really good in that aspect. It's going to do it for the Dark World Monsters of the deck. Uh, two copies of Trance Archfiend. Discard any card. It gains uh, 500 attack. So it's, a, it's an additional 2000 meter plus it's a Fiend. So you can banish it for Gates effect, you can discard, like I said, with uh, Beige as an instant rank 4, discard your Grapha, so many good plays there. And one copy of Dark Arm Dragon, since this is a dark deck, Dark Arm fits in here really well. That'll round out our monsters. For spell cards, we run three copies of Gates of Dark World with the new effect in play, uh, where each player can have their own field spell active at all times. So this makes this a lot more viable card, makes it a lot, will make sure your opponents go after this rather than your other key pieces. Three copies of Dark World Dealings, draw one, ditz, card one. They'll get their, your Dark Worlds will get their effect, great card. Also lets you look at your opponents, uh, well not that one, but this card. Drag down to the grave, this will let you look at your opponent's hand. Not a good card to play against them in the mirror match. You definitely don't want them getting their Dark World Monsters effect, so you'd have to hit their spells or traps, or maybe Dark Armed or Trance. So, yeah. So, then they'll discard one of yours, you'll discard one of theirs, each of you draw a card. Uh, a lot of people don't run this, but I live it. I do. Uh, Into the Void, draw, if you have more than three cards in your hand, draw, activate this, to draw a card. In phase, discard all cards in your hand. So any dark holds you didn't play that turn, at the end of the turn, they'll get their effects. Uh, just one copy again of Rank Up Magic, the seventh one. And the reason I do is because I can go to fours and eights, so it makes it a lot more viable to play, as well as the additional cards in the extra deck. Uh, just one copy of Soul Charge again. Don't need more than one. Typically, all you're going to bring back is one, maybe two cards. And you go from your place from there. Uh, one copy of Allure. Draw two. Banish a dark. Since this is an all dark deck. You should have no problem with that. And three copies of MST. Still got to hit that back row occasionally. And or field spells if needed. That'll do it for the spells of the deck. Traps. Small trap lineup. Just uh, five of them. So two copies of Dark Smog. Banish... Uh, a monster from your opponent's grave during your turn or their turn. Discard a fiend to do so. So that's really great. Banish one of their key cards. Discard one of yours. Get an effect and just start a chain reaction. Uh, the one copy of Erad, since that's all we're allowed to play. Call spells or traps. Tribute a monster with 2500 attack. Not that hard to do in this deck. And finally, even though I don't have the actual two cards, uh, Deck Devastation Viruses. Two copies of that. Uh, tribute a monster with dark with 2,000 or more attack. Uh, for the next three turns, destroy all monsters with 1,500 or less attack in your opponent's hand, uh, field, and whatever they would draw for the next three turns. So that's really good. Now for the extra deck. Uh, it's mostly fours and eights. So we'll start off with everyone's favorite, Exiton Knight. Again, blow up the field if you have a disadvantage. And being with uh, Dark World, you're discarding cards a lot of the time, so you're not going to have a lot of cards in hand or on field to work with. So that works really well. Plus it's a feint, so it gets the effect of uh, gates, as long as you don't nuke the field. 
Uh, Abyss Dweller, great for the mirror match, Dis uh, negate effects in the graveyard. Cowboy, again, if you need to get over anything, stall a little bit and or cause a little burn damage. Uh, Heartland Draco works with uh, Gates being on the field. It cannot be targeted by attack. So you can just kind of sit on this guy and attack directly. Uh, 101, again, steals things. Everyone knows what 101 does. Uh, C101 for the uh, rank up magic play. If I want to go into that, if I need to steal a monster that I can't normally get over. Uh, 104 and C104, again, for the rank up magic play. Uh, 3000 attacker, and if they would activate, and if, so when it's summoned, you get to destroy a spell or a trap card on the field, and then if they would activate an effect, dis detach 104, uh, negate it, look at their hand, uh, negate it, discard a card from their hand, and cut their life points in half. So that really punishes them for making a play against you. Uh, key Beetle to protect your um, Dark Smogs or your Field Spell uh, Gates. Uh, M7, this is why I was running Lucence with M7. That way you can detach, bounce something back from the, their field or your graveyard. That way you can get your plays rolling again. Uh, for rank 8s, number 62. It's a 4,000 attacker. Detach 1. It gains... Uh, 200 attack times the rank of every for every star rank on the field and then your opponent only takes half the battle damage but if you got two or if they've got two or three on the field and you got this guy that's a lot of attack points they have to deal with audience a 4,000 beater to start with then you got heretic sun dragon overlord of heliopolis uh, detach send cards from your hand or field to the graveyard to destroy cards on the field felgrand uh, 2800 attacker protects itself or anything else on the field. And finally, 107, because you can go into 8s. And also, C107 for the rank up magic play. It's a 4500 beater. Very hard to get over. That's it for the extra deck. Now, for my side deck choices uh, three copies of Skill Drain. This works with the malefic half of the deck and uh, keeping annoying effects in check. Uh, one Solemn Warning, one Bottomless, one Compulse, a uh, little bit more defensive. Uh, two copies of Xyz Avenger. Uh, the reason I run this guy as the in the extra deck is it's also a Fiend. And when you run into an Xyz monster, so like I said, they have Draco Sack on the field, and you have Gates active, so that's only 500 points you're gonna damage you're gonna take. This goes to the graveyard they lose seven cards from their extra deck so it quickly gets rid of uh, your opponent's extra deck and then you put then I run one copy of rank up magic argent uh, admiration of the thousands choose a card in your graveyard it's so like say you have 101 in the graveyard because you've already gone into it uh, special uh, activate this grab every level rank four from your grave and their graveyard and then chaos exceeds on top of that so yeah you can have a, a C101 on the field with like nine materials to it <laughs> or a 104 or a 108 or 107 so it's really annoying and good, just gets a lot of cards out of the graveyard and out of the way uh, just the one copy of Gores it's a fame plus it's also a little protection uh, two copies of Malefic Cyber End Dragon. This works with the whole skill drain thing. And going into uh, having a 4,000 attacker on the field. So to do that, you'll need two copies of Cyber End Dragon in the extra deck. This is when you take some of your siding stuff in and out. And because they're two level 10s, uh, the Malefics are, uh, you can get rid of your skill drain, go into... Super Dreadnought uh, Real Cannon Max and deal 2,000 burn damage. So yeah, this has been my Dark World deck. Don't forget, like, subscribe buttons are down below. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook. Leave a comment down below what you think of Dark Worlds. And this is Supreme Dragon signing out.